2008. This is a year that will forever be burned into my memory. This was the year I solidified my fate as a tiger, a University of Memphis tiger. This was the year that taught me to rise above, the year that taught me to believe even when no one else did. When 2008 rolled around, I was a freshman at the University of Memphis and a member of the pep band that traveled to San Antonio to see the Tigers play. My Tigers play. I remember the battle of the bands that took place in San Antonio during the Final Four. At that moment, we weren't 29 kids standing on a basketball court just playing for a title. We were 29 kids with something to prove. We had the best of the best. We earned this. We were out to show them that we had more spirit, more pride, and more heart than any other band could even dream. We left that court with a title, but we also left with a new sense of pride. Tiger pride. I remember walking into the stadium and looking up into the seats lining the building thinking, this is it. This is what we live for. This is Tiger basketball. I remember standing, blocked off by a bar and a blue sheet. That was all that stood between me and the Tigers. My Tigers. I remember the quickening in my pulse as the game started. And I remember thinking, whatever happens, this has been the ride of my life. I also remember watching in horror as that shot, oh yes, you know the one, came down through the net, the backboard lighting up. Had that really just happened? The rest of the game became a blur, and as the final seconds of overtime began to tick off the clock, I felt something inside me begin to press down on my heart, a sickening pain. Tears fell down my face as I sank back into my chair, and time passed in slow motion. For once, I didn't want to hear the rolling of a snare, signaling the beginning of a song I had played countless times. The band, the band began to play, and I had to force myself to stand and place my horn to my face. But the notes just wouldn't come. Press cameras were shoved in my face, shutters clicking wildly to catch this vulnerable moment. A girl's broken heart. A tiger's broken heart. I'll never forget the band director, upon seeing the state of those 29 kids, forgoing the alma mater, telling us, let's just get out of here. We walked off to the holding area as streamers flew past our heads, hanging on our instruments and flying across the court. I'll never forget the silence as we boarded the bus for the ride back to the hotel. And then a voice came over the intercom. I stared out the window, my vision blurred with tears as the voice said, I know this is hard, but it is a good day to be a tiger. To some people, this may be just a game, or just a season, or just a banner. But to me, that trip was what it meant to be a tiger. I don't know what is in store for this season or next season. I don't know if we'll get to keep those wins on the record books. But I do know that they can take our banners and they can take our titles. But they can't take our memories, and they will never, never be able to take away what it means to be a tiger.